Photo and Video Functions Tutorial You can also use the Photo Video Functions through the app on your mobile device. Tap the button to switch to photo mode. Tap the photo button to capture photos and photos will be saved automatically. Tap the button to switch to video mode. Tap the record button to start the video timer for recording your video. Tap the record button to end recording and the video will be saved automatically. With the buttons on the controller, you can also capture the special moments in your flight and adjust the gimbal angle. Use the photo key on the controller to capture photos. Press and hold for 1.5 seconds to start recording videos. Press and hold for another 1.5 seconds to end recording. Follow me mode function, enter the app interface, select follow me mode, tips. The aircraft needs six or more GPS satellites and pass GPS accuracy tests to activate follow me during flight. The altitude and distance need to be kept between 5 meters and 15 meters. During follow me mode, you can manually control the photo video function. The system will show GPS follow and smart image tracking modes. Let's take GPS follow as an example. Tap on GPS follow button. The aircraft will set your mobile device as the target to follow. Tap on the start button. The aircraft will begin to follow the movements of the target. Tap on exit mode button to terminate GPS follow mode. Using Smart Image Tracking as an example, tap on the Smart Image Tracking button. The app interface will switch to a real-time video. Select your target manually. Tap on Go button. The aircraft will begin to follow the movements of selected target. Whether it's walking or jogging, the Xeno is capable of tracking accurately, making photography easier than before. Tap on Stop button on the left corner to exit Smart Imaging Tracking Mode. The Panoramic Function Enter the App Interface. Tap on Creative Videos Panorama Tips. The aircraft needs 6 or more GPS satellites and pass GPS accuracy tests to activate panorama functions during flight. The system will automatically show the checkbox. Slide the bar to adjust the angle and speed parameters. Angle refers to the angle value of the aircraft's in situ rotation when shooting in panoramic recording. Let's take the rotating 180 degree as an example. Speed refers to speed at which the aircraft rotates in place during panoramic recording. Then select the clockwise or counterclockwise option. Clockwise refers to the aircraft will rotate clockwise during the pan panoramic recording. Counterclockwise refers to that the aircraft will rotate counterclockwise during panoramic recording. After setting the parameters, tap on the GO button. Then the aircraft will automatically start recording in the hovering position. Rotate in place and capture the panoramic view. Discover a wider world and more beauty. Tap on the stop button to exit and save panoramic photography. The waypoint function. Tips. In order to use waypoint mode, the aircraft needs to be in a flying state and altitude needs to be between 5 to 500 meters. Before activating waypoint mode, pilots can change the default flight, altitude, length, and radius of the aircraft. During waypoint mode, you can turn on the photo video functions manually. 
the operations are as follows. Tap on settings on the top right side of the app interface. Tap on waypoint parameters. The system will show default waypoint altitude, maximum waypoint height, maximum route length, maximum flight radius, maximum hovering time, and default hovering time. The parameters can be modified by the pilots. Return to the app interface, select waypoint mode. The system will show waypoint planning and waypoint memory. Take waypoint planning as an example. Zoom map. Tap on the draw button, draw the route you desire on the screen. The system will automatically generate the corresponding waypoints. Select a waypoint, pop-up option, altitude, delay before moving to the next waypoint, slide the bar to set the altitude of the waypoint, slide the bar to set the staying time of this waypoint, default is 2 seconds. Each waypoint can be edited accordingly. You can always set a waypoint of interest to have the aircraft point to that direction. After finishing the waypoints, the system will temporarily save the waypoint. Tap on start to enter waypoint mode. The aircraft will automatically fly according to the route you're specified. Tap to extend the waypoint interface to view the waypoint flight status and dynamically adjust the waypoint flight speed. Tap on the stop button or exit mode to end waypoint mode. Take waypoint memory as an example. The waypoint memory refers to the position information the aircraft obtained during flight. The aircraft will be able to save the heading and altitude information and repeat the same route. Tap on the waypoint memory mode. Manually operate the aircraft. When the aircraft reaches a position that you wish to memorize, tap on the memorize waypoint button on the screen. The system will save the coordinates of the position you specified and turn it into a waypoint. If you wish to replace or delete a waypoint, you can slide to the left to modify a waypoint. Tap on the complete button. The follow route and follow waypoint refers to the orientation of the nose during flight. Follow route. The aircraft nose is facing next waypoint. Follow waypoint. When you save the waypoint, the system will save where the nose was pointing and when you activate this function, the aircraft will follow what was saved in the system. Tap on the upload waypoint button, the system will upload the waypoint. Tap on start now. If the aircraft is not at the starting point of the waypoint, the aircraft will first fly to the starting point, then start the waypoint mission. You can have the waypoint memory function to save all the locations that you like and turn them into waypoints. Then use Xeno to capture these beautiful moments. The line fly function. Enter the app interface. Select the line fly mode. Tips. The aircraft needs six or more GPS satellites and pass GPS accuracy tests to activate line flight functions during flight. The system will show three options, angle, distance, and speed. Slide the bars of each option to adjust the corresponding value. Angle refers to direction of hovering aircraft on the horizontal plane. Based on a clockwise direction, as an example, set zero degrees, the aircraft flies forward. Set 90 and the aircraft flies to the right. Set 90 degrees and the aircraft flies to the back. Set 360 degrees, aircraft flies forward, and so on. Distance refers to the distance of the starting position to the position after the line flight mode is performed. Speed refers to the speed the aircraft will travel when performing a line flying mode. After adjusting the parameters, tap to preview the route. If you need to change anything, please tap on re-edit. After editing is complete, tap on start now. Immediately after start, the aircraft will travel according to the angle, distance, and speed you set. From the starting position, and am flying a straight line toward the set direction. In addition, the pilot can turn on the photography functions manually by tapping on the video photo icon on the screen or use the photo video button on the transmitter. Tips. 
one. During the line of flight mode, only throttle stick is available for use. The other controls will be unavailable, therefore make sure the surrounding environment is safe to use the line of flight mode. Two, during the line of flight mode, you can pause, restore, stop at any time. Three, during the line of flight mode, loss of control and low battery failsafe will still work. Thank you for watching.